13th rank Utah defeats Oregon State on Halloween night, 27 to 12. Oregon State trying to put a fright into the Utah Utes, who got it going early, keeping it on the ground. Their first drive, 12 plays, 75 yards. Travis Wilson didn't put it in the air one time. He kept it a few times, gave to Devontae Booker a few times. Wilson very dependable when he goes to the ground. Well, he showed tremendous command of the entire system. I mean, finishes the night 14 to 17 for almost 200 yards. Just responded, you know, and this is Travis Wilson's whole career at Utah. Throughout the last four years, a four-year starter, I call him continually the most resilient player in college football, and he just keeps responding. He's a no-flinch mentality guy. He's guided this offense with no flash, but just some toughness. He embodies the tough guy mentality that really you could define the entire Utah team with. 174 yards on the ground against Oregon State, 198 through the year. Oregon State had a very poised redshirt freshman playing, and Nick Mitchell did a lot of nice things. Well, for all intents and purposes, a lot of people probably thought that Oregon State would come in here and just get trounced. And after that first drive, a lot of people thought. But they responded, and this is a team that has completely bought in, in my opinion, to Gary Anderson, Kalani Sataki, this entire system of coaches, an entire new philosophy, and it's starting to show. You know, I don't know if they're going to get the wins, but they just kept competing. They believed they were going to get that win. It could be a spoiler, and... Utah, of course, always dependable. The backbone of this team, defense, special teams, ground game, defense clicked in in the second half. Well, their front four is ridiculous. Their front seven, I think, is the best in the country. Jared Norris coming back. Gianni, All Gianni Paul played well. Of course, the loss of Hunter Dimmick will hurt them. We'll see what happens with him going forward. But ultimately, this team is built to win a championship because they can stop the run. they got guys that can play in the back end. Oregon State taking on number 24 UCLA next week in Corvallis, and Utah is at Washington. Utah with a win remains one game ahead in the South on both USC and UCLA. 27-12 final. Utes win. Utes win on Halloween night.